हेलो एवरीवन यू आर आर वेलकम टू लेक्चर नंबर 966 एंड टुडेज टॉपिक इज द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ एस बी आर और बीना रबर एज बी नो डेट वंस वी आर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग द एस बी आर रबर वंस व्हेन द 90 परसेंट manufacturing of rubber is over means polymerization in the process of manufacture of sbr rubber then the remaining monomer and latex they are flushed out under the pressure and it is not allowed to react further and in this way some inhibitor is also used and that rubber sbr what it is obtained is more durable strong with strength as compared to natural rubber uh, it is also having more uh, thermo plastic property as compared to natural rubber and this sbr rubber can be vulcanized in presence of either sulfur or peroxide in the same way like natural rubber this sbr rubber can absorb some small amount of oil as well as a water sbr rubber is also oxidized in presence of oxygen that is uh, when it is exposed to atmosphere of air and sbr rubber is mainly used uh, for preparation of different articles and of course it is having more strength so these are all some important properties i will be giving one by one so here uh, when we are discussing about the property of natural rubber we have to know uh, that the sbr rubber is manufactured by two processes which i have already discussed that is cold process and hot process and the cold process is uh, more in advantage the reason is that that rubber is having good quality it is having more elastic and it is uh, strong as compared to hot process the reason is that uh, the cold process rubber that is sbr uh, is having short carbon chain and in the case of hot process the rubber is having uh, the long carbon chain and that's why it is not that much elastic and i have already discussed this thing uh that the process of uh manufacture of rubber in hot and cold process they are all similar the only difference in cold process is that the process of that is latex formation otherwise others are uh, similar so here it is given number one after the 90% polymerization once we are doing the reaction in order to manufacture sbr rubber when the polymerization is up to 90% is complete uh, the latex and the monomers are run in a blow down pressure vessel and treated with an inhibitor in order to arrest the reaction so once our 90% polymerization is over we will not allow the further reaction we will put the inhibitor to stop the reaction and of course the remaining monomer and latex will be blown down under pressure vessel and treated with inhibitor in order to arrest the uh, reaction uh, the latex is then made free from the monomer monomer free latex is treated with antioxidant and then coagulated from the emulsion by sodium chloride solution and h2so4 solution Uh, with 1.8 to 2 pH, means it is a uh, highly acidic, 
unreacted butadiene and styrene are recovered and reused in this way the butadiene and the styrene those two uh, compounds which are used to polymerize and manufacture hbr rubber is uh, recovered uh, by treating with uh, sodium chloride solution and uh, sulfuric acid solution with 1.8 to 2 uh, ph and both 1 2 and 1 4 addition of styrene to butadiene occur the latter uh, predominating and this is the reaction this is your butadiene and this butadiene is ch2 double bond ch ch double bond ch2 1 2 3 4 so there are four carbon with two double bond that's why it is called but but means for four carbon diene means for two uh, double bonds that is your butadiene and styrene is c6s5 ch double bond ch2 so this styrene and butadiene uh, they react together and there will be formation of Uh, this unit that is CH2 CH uh, double bond CH CH2 CH2 CH and then C6S5. This is one unit of SBR uh, rubber. Number two, it is important to know that cold process differs from the hot process in preparation of only latex. That's all. Uh, the compounding and vulcanizing. are done in the case of a uh, natural rubber it is mixed with uh, reinforcing fillers such as uh, carbon black in cold process the chain length of the copolymer is less than in that process uh, hence the rubber obtained from cold process is more elastic then less hard and more res resilient spr is more resistant to weathering than natural uh, rubber in continuation uh, number 3 that is uh, the properties of sbr rubber sbr rubber is more resistant to abrasion as compared to natural rubber uh, its uh, toughness may be further reduced by adding some extenders such as petroleum based oils uh, as a result its processing becomes easier so once petroleum based oils are added uh its toughness is uh, reduced and of course uh, the processing also becomes uh, easy because it will uh, be good uh, lubricant uh, number 4 sbr rubber has high load uh, bearing capacity and good uh, resilience but poor than that of natural rubber this do not break down easily and are not as thermoplastic as natural uh, rubber so it has good capacity to bear the load and it will not be broken very easily number 5 sbr rubber do not mill mix or calendar easily uh, they are greater ozone resistant uh, but lower in crack spread resistance as compared to natural rubber sbr get easily oxidized in presence of air uh, number 6 sbr rubber swell in oils and solvents and they are uh, deficient in uh, building tech they have greater weather weatherability as compared to natural uh, rubber i mean uh, they can resist weather or atmosphere Uh, more easily as compared to natural rubber because natural rubber uh, can be oxidized in presence of atmosphere or air oxygen as compared to sbr rubber number 
SPR can be vulcanized uh, in the same way as natural rubber by sulfur or sulfur monochloride. It uh, requires less sulfur but more accelerators for vulcanization. This is important point to note that it requires less sulfur but more accelerators. Those who are interested in uh, SBR rubber manufacturing, they should note down this point because this requires less rubber, I mean less sulfur but more uh, accelerator when we are going to uh, vulcanize it. Uh, in vulcanization, accelerators for vulcanization. Number eight, SBR rubber is mainly used for making light duty tires then uh, belting house uh, molded goods shoe soles coated fabrics then floor tiles gaskets wire and cable insulations adhesives tank lining and carpet backing etc So with this I will stop, thank you very much for watching the lecture.